You needed me, sir? Yes, Agent 81. We need you for a mission. I'm Agent 73, sir. I don't care who you are, okay? Everyone else who's better than you, they're all out at war, okay? You're the best we have left. Okay, then what's the mission? Your mission is to hunt down and eliminate a group of terrorists that's been in this area for a while now. They've killed hundreds and stolen millions of dollars worth of money and guns. These aren't just some gang that has crappy little pistols and stuff. These guys have fully automatic assault rifles. You'll need to be very prepared for this. I'll mark their location of where we believe their clubhouse is on the map. Okay, I'll head to that location immediately. Sir, I'm here, and I think I see some of them. They're wearing blue jackets and ski masks. Is that what they wear? Okay, I'll take care of them. Is this your guys' main base? No, it's not. Well, if it isn't, tell me where it is then. No, the others would kill me. Please, don't, no. Oh yeah, would you rather be dead now or later? And if I'm successful at this mission, there'll be no one to kill you. You're right. It, it's just on that it's just on that mountain. Okay? Just please don't shoot me. Okay, I'll let you live. Just don't get any bad ideas. Heading out. Told where their main um, hangout place was. Okay, I'll head there immediately. Yeah, I'll find their boss and I'll take him out. Oh God! Hey, who is that? 
Let's get him! I think I got all of them. <sighs> I think that was all the ones that were chasing me. Where's my hat? Dang it, I must have left it back there. I'm gonna have to backtrack and find it. There it is. I'm gonna head all the way back. Oh crap! Where's your leader? Listen, listen, they moved that way, okay? I'm so- I'm sorry, just please don't shoot me. Okay, I'm gonna head over there then. You better be telling the truth. Okay, just don't shoot me, okay? I'm, so, I'm sorry, okay? Well, I guess I'm gonna have to take his word for it. Oh? Oh. You have a new mission for me, do ya? I've always wanted to meet him. Okay, I'll be there immediately. Agent 73. Who are you? Our boss wants to speak with you. Okay, well, you better not try anything. We won't. Now come on. Agent 
Agent 73, it's nice to finally meet you. Oh, so are you the leader of this little agency? Yes, I am. Wait a minute. Are you Agent 53? Yes, I am Agent 53. Or at least, I was. Why did you leave the agent agency? The agency has betrayed us. How? They've been working against us for years. You see, we're just like assassins now. Getting hired by whoever wants us. If they have the money. There's no way that could be happening. Open your eyes, 73. I already have. Haven't you noticed? You may be doing a mission to hunt someone down. Then get hired by that person to hunt down who hired you before. It's pretty simple. That can't be happening. There's no evidence. You have no evidence. The evidence is all over the place. I bet you've been on a mission similar in your experiences. I guess it has. Go on. Yes. And I know that any agent who speaks to me is compromised. They're coming after you, 73. And they're gonna get you. But I can help you. That can't be possible. Why would they ever want to do that? I run this agency here. I have plenty of men on my side. And I know they're going to send someone after you soon. Probably after you confirm my death. When that happens, I have a plan. We work together. We fake my death. Say you killed me to them. And I assure you, they're going to send one of their agents over and try to end you. When that happens, my men and myself will help you fight them off, and we will kill them. I like that plan, but when do we start? We'll start right now. Just say that I'm dead. Report in. Okay. You guys need to get ready first. Okay. Let's get ready. I took him out. Yeah, the leader was Agent 53. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. I'll be waiting. I called him. They said they're sending in an agent to pick me up. I told my men to fall back. We don't need any more of them dead. Good idea. I think we can handle this. Agent 73, time to meet your demise. I may not be able to beat you alone, but I brought a friend along. Agent 53, I thought you were dead. Well, guess I'll be getting paid more. You do realize that they're using us as assassins. We really aren't doing anything good for this world. Stop trying to convince me to join you and fight. Fine. If you won't listen, then I'm willing to fight. Great. That's just what I wanted to hear.
Oh. Looks like we took care of them. Yeah. Looks like he had a pretty nice gun, too. Now we'll just have to take on the rest of the agency. Well, we'll see how that goes. I gotta ask you something. Why'd the agency say you were terrorists, for starters? And also, why exactly did they want to come after me? Good question, 73. Very simple answer. You see, I have all the information they don't want leaked about how they're just using us as assassins. You see, we all joined trying to make this world a better place. Taking out all the scum. People who don't need to be here. And well, it's kind of turned around. The agency is now the scum. All they do now is use us as assassins. Whoever pays the most gets us. We'll kill anyone. They could even hire us to kill public officials. Anyone you can think of, we could be hired. Or at least not us. We've left. They called us terrorists because we're the enemy to them. And they needed a reason for you to come. If they didn't have a good reason, you would have had doubts. So they claimed we are terrorists who have been stealing and murdering, which we have not. The only people we've been coming after are members of the agency. These members are anyone, really. And here's the thing. Agents who came after me before and I told this information and managed to escape, I believe they're dead now. You see, they reported back to the agency what they discovered, but then slowly started having doubts because everything I said added up. It's true. And, well, when they started having doubts about the agency, the agency couldn't have that, so they had to kill them. Very dangerous. And they wanted to come after you because you were compromised. I had spoken with you about everything. And because of that, they knew that you couldn't be trusted anymore. Oh, that makes sense. Sir, we've discovered the location of Agent 66. He's on Clark's Mountain. Ah, uh, Agent 66. Very strange man. Only uses melee, don't know why. He carries around a kitchen knife. Very big. Pretty spooky dude to fight. He's very close with the leader of the agency. Meaning if we manage to kill the leader, this man will come after us. And he's pretty sneaky usually. If he gets the jump on you, really don't stand much of a chance. Now, because he uses melee, he has a huge disadvantage if we get the jump on him. If we're in an open area, we could just shoot him. And all he could do is run at us with his knife. It wouldn't be too effective. Also, a very simple location. We could get there pretty easily, pretty quick. So let's head out. Let's go. Yes, I've heard of this Agent 66. Crazy guy. Only agent I've ever thought of as a true murderer. Anyways, let's go get him. Alright, sir. I'm gonna head back to our group. Hopefully we can find some more agents. Maybe get them back on our side.
Deserved it. And why is that? He was a cold blooded killer. He even killed another agent. The old Agent 66. I think it was because he wanted his position or something. Agent 66, the old one, he was one of my best friends. Never replace him. Huh, the old Agent 66 came after me. He got away though. That Agent 66 must have been hunting down everyone who came after me. Maybe his job is to hunt down agents who are suspected of trying to escape. So you're saying he could have joined us? That would have been awesome. Now he's just dead. There are at least two more agents we need to join us before we go after their main leader. That consists of Agent 39 and Agent 47. There might be a few more, but we don't know the locations of any of them. So if we find the location of any more agents, we'll try to find them first. Then take out the main leader. Although out of those two, I think we should go after Agent 39 first. Tough guy. Rather high ranking as an agent. But I think we can handle him. He carries a pump action shotgun. So we gotta be careful. Agent 39 it is. Sounds like a dangerous dude, but I think we can handle him like you said. So, this time I'll actually try to convince him to join us. I just didn't like Agent 66. Anyways, let's get going. Just back shooting again. Just as accurate as usual. Home sweet home. I could afford better, but this place is real nice. Looking good. This should be Agent 39's place. Hey, Agent Sam to three. 39, we need your help with something very important. Didn't you see Sam to three? I retired yesterday. I don't plan on going back into the business. You know, I was able to pay for this land here, and, well, now I'm just going to live out the rest of my life happy. 39, you must not understand. You see, the agency has been using us. I get you're retired and you don't really have anything to do with it now, but still, they've been using us as assassins basically our entire time there. It's been happening for years. It's pretty obvious, too. I always had a suspicion about that, but I never really thought it was real. You know, I heard it from 53 before he disappeared, and I was just like, eh, he must be talking crazy. But now that I think more into it, that all makes sense now. 
you know. Dang, shady business. I'm taking cover of my trailer, 73. You take care of them. Oh, crap. Did you get him, 73? Yeah, he's dead. And he was Agent 62. Dang! I gotta go meet up with Agent 53 again. Uh, hope you survive, I guess. Stay safe. Alright. See you later. Agent 73. If my information is correct, Agent 47 should be moving through this area any time. Nice. But while we're waiting, might as well ask, what do you think we're gonna do while... after we take over the agency? Good question. What I think we're gonna do is, you know all my men that I already have, we're probably gonna make them into agents themselves. We're gonna transform the agency back to how we used to be. When we used to fight for the good, not just for the money. Do you think the agency's leader knows we're coming? Most likely. I feel like he's gonna be prepared. All we can do is try to take him out and do our best. Try not to die. the agency has been using us for the last few years. They've been hiring us off to the highest bidder. Whoever wants us can have us. Some proof of this is, people who most would think are pretty good will get hired to be assassinated by us. And the association has come up with random reasons why they need to be assassinated, like they're funding terrorism. None of this is true, because most of these people are pretty normal. Sometimes it is for the good, but usually it's just random people who want someone dead. So we're trying to stop that. Would you be willing to help us take over the association and return it to how it used to be? To only help the world and not ruin it? Great. You're gonna die! Dang, that was accurate. For the agency! Agent 
Is that all of them? Yeah, I think so. Alright, I think we should move that way down the tracks, find a place to camp for tomorrow. Sounds good to me. Where are you going? So, I guess just meet us down this way at about 7 p.m. tomorrow. We'll wait there for you. Just come here and then walk that way down the tracks. You should be able to find us. Let's get going. Yes, Sergeant? Our troops were massacred by Agent 73 and Agent 53. The plan didn't work. Dang it! I shouldn't have underestimated their power. I knew 53 and 73 together would make a good force. I thought they'd be easier than that. There's even worse news, sir. Turns out, Agent 47 was in on it, too. Agent 47? He was one of my best agents. I never thought he'd leave like that. But the good news is, we figured out where they're camping for the night. And we know for sure that they're going to be there until at least 12 p.m. tomorrow. Meaning that we'll have time to prepare and attack once again. That's great news. So... I think what I'll do is, I'll head over there at 6.30 p.m. tomorrow, and I'll take him out myself. Okay, sir. I wish you luck. I gotta get back to my duties. Alright, get back to work. Those malcontents won't know what hit them. So we're attacking the agency tomorrow? Yep, we'll be attacking tomorrow. Now we just need to wait for 47. They won't know what hit them. Look over there, sir! That's the leader of the association! If we kill him, we have it! I'm gonna kill him! Looks like he's got body armor! 
I'm gonna get in cover. Body armor makes him invincible. Your puny pistols aren't going to get through my armor. Why won't you die? Body armor's way too strong. These pistols will never penetrate. These pistols aren't gonna do anything. Tell, tell my men to get high, high caliber weapons. Tell them to get 39 and 47 with high caliber weapons. These pistols will never penetrate his armor. Okay, I will. Engage in 39 and Agent 47 and make sure to tell him to bring high powered rifles. Those are the only thing that'll be able to penetrate his armor. Okay, I'll go do that. Dead 47! <laughs> Got you, 73! Please, don't kill me! 
Oh, I'm gonna kill ya. I'm gonna kill you no matter what you say. Don't worry, Seven Three. I'll save you. Wow, it's got some kick to it. Agent Thirty Nine, thank God. Kill it down, man 73. Would you? I don't know. Would you? It's empty. He's dead. Thank God. Yep, he's dead. You're still alive? I thought he killed you too. Fifty-three. Sad you had to go, but I'll make sure to return the agency to how it used to be and get all of your men through training and turn them into agents just for you.